Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to bring up a few things that 2K needs to fix in patch 4, which are a definite must. Uh, first off, the uh, first off on the list, playground frame rate. Like, is it was it was in patch 3 it was fixed like a by a lot. Don't get me wrong, but there are still people out there like with the older gen systems that are still lagging. Like, not that bad. Like, but after like 45 minutes 50 minutes in a part that's when the lag starts to kick in i for one has experience have experienced this and not a lot of us you know can just get out jump up out of season by a ps4 pro out of nowhere you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to bring that one up for sure another thing is um the brian text glitch now i did see a tweet from mike wayne saying it's gonna be fixed in patch 4 which i'm hoping it will but it hasn't happened to me, but I know a few people that has happened to, and trust, not being able to access your VC or get endorsements or like have any type of thing to do with their agent, it sucks a lot, considering the fact that you're gonna your system freezes just for open up a text. Another thing they need to fix is a lot of people have a problem with this. A lot of people, especially shooters, is the my career difficulty. If you're a sharpshooter, shot creator, or anything, anything that shoots, why can you never get open in my career? Like, the computers are stuck on you like glue. There's no way for you to be able to shoot. Like, I have a slasher, he can just force his way into the paint. But all the shooters that actually have to get open and make the shot, like, you, you were doomed from the start. Because 2K basically said, screw you, you don't need to be able to get open in any way, shape, or form. Like, the fact that it feels like it's on Superstar difficulty when you put it on Pro is ridiculous. That's one thing I, I personally wanted to bring up, for sure. Because especially, it, it's stupid. Like, with well, my sharpshooter, it's, it's ridiculously hard to get open. When you set screens, they switch off like like it was nothing. And it's, it's just ridiculous. I just wanted to bring that one up, for sure. Another thing that I've noticed that a lot of people complaining about, too, are the pre-order bonuses. 2K. The game's been out for a few weeks now. Why do a lot of people not have the pre-order bonuses? Like, this isn't just my career. This is like my team and everything. Right? For one, I know a few people that haven't even gotten the Kyrie. The Kyrie shirt that almost everybody has. How's that even a thing? That, that's ridiculous. And another thing that I personally wanted to go over in my personal list is the Pro-Am. The Pro-Am rep bar. Why did you guys nerf the Pro-Am rep bar? It was nothing wrong with that at all. Pro-Am, it, it's just like the past few years, it's always given out the most amount of rep. Always. There was no doubt about it. The fact that you guys patched that, like, made it, like, you would do better in part. You would rep up faster in part than you would in Pro-Am this year. Now that's ridiculous. Your, the rep bar was perfect the way Prime was. So now I don't even play Prime anymore like I did last year. I just go straight either my career or park with my slasher. And if you're a shooter, my career is out of the question because you can't even get open. So all you have left is to play park. And if your boy's not on, you're playing park with randoms. So that's one thing I wanted to bring up. You're screwing us all by doing this with Pro-Am. I'd rather take a L in Pro-Am than to take a L anywhere else and get nothing from it. You know what I'm saying? Um. VC. <laughs> now this one is on everybody's mind. Why is it so hard to get VC? And I, I don't want to be the dead horse because I know people have brought this up plenty of times. But why is it so hard to get VC? It's ridiculously hard to get VC. Unless you cheese the game or glitch or cheat or any way that you're not supposed to. But it should not be this hard to get VC. It should not be. Y'all also need the difficulty multipliers back. We need... If we play on Hall of Fame, we deserve to be rewarded like we're playing on Hall of Fame. Like if I can get 50 buckets in Hall of Fame, don't treat me like, I, like I'm playing against the D-League and give me like nothing basically. No rep, no nothing. Like I didn't do anything. That's the Hall of Fame, the highest difficulty. I need like, y'all should give me more for doing this on a higher difficulty. That's, that's just, it's just ridiculous the fact that that's not a thing anymore. 2K screwing up this year by a lot. I don't know when they said they were going to fix this. I haven't seen a tweet yet. I'll check Twitter just to make sure. But, um, squad invites you still, for the most part, have to accept it two times, which is ridiculous. Uh, the small things, 2K. The small things. How do you break this? This is ridiculous. Also, separating squads while changing servers. And what I mean by that is, when you're in a squad with somebody and you walk from the playground to... The neighborhood or vice versa it, it triggers a server change and during that server change a lot of times we get kicked into different servers from what our squad was so I hate having the squad up and uh, say we're going to the shop or something and don't and nowhere near the subway 
and we just want to you know run over there so we run over to the playground and we all just disappear from each other's lobbies because we're changing servers all of us that that shouldn't happen there should be no reason that we disappear from each other's servers like we should be able to stick together through the server change into the playground or into the neighborhood that, that that's ridiculous you need to change that 2k people getting kicked in the venue this is still a thing it hasn't happened to me recently but it has happened to a lot of people i know like get, getting kicked from the venue is still a thing and they definitely need to patch that because people are taking an elf that they don't deserve and it always says that this doesn't count towards your records when it definitely does especially when you're losing vc like an ante up high stakes like stuff like that that's what makes people not want to play if i was on 25,000 score and i went into the venue started up a game and it says i got kicked on the last play what was about to be a w best believe i'm gonna be heated that i just lost 25k when i was about to get 25k like that's ridiculous 2k why can we not skip cutscenes? it has never been this much of an issue like i understand going through it once because you guys try you know you worked hard on it you want to make us oh let's force them to watch it if you need to force somebody to watch your cutscenes, you shouldn't really be making cutscenes. It's awful. Like, don't get me wrong. I like the cutscenes and stuff from a few other years, but it, sometimes it gets boring and stale, and you just want to get into the game. You want to grind, you know. And the fact that I got to sit through t ten minute, fifteen minute, twenty minute cutscenes, even five minutes, it's, it's no, it shouldn't happen. We should be able to skip it. Not even just the second time. We should be able to skip it the first time because nobody wants to watch them. Honestly, I'm gonna just throw it out there. I don't want to hurt any film none of that, but nobody wants to watch the cutscenes. Nobody. Unless they are my career player. Other than that, we just want to get out to the parking grind. Nobody wants to watch the cutscenes. 2K, come on. Archetypes that can splash threes when they're not built to splash threes. I, for one, have experienced this because my slasher, my rebounding slasher, can splash threes. My friend who's a playmaking slasher can splash threes. Post scores, splash threes. All of this splashing threes. Like, and my friend who's a playmaking sharpshooter, brick. My friend who's a sharpshooter, shot creator, brick. Stuff like this. Why? Why is this happening? Like, you need to tell the difference between archetypes, 2K. Because why are the actual shooting archetypes bricking? Unless they're a pure sharpshooter or highly built upon sharpshooting or stretch bigs, then they're going to brick. Unless they're completely nowhere near it. Hence slashers, splashing threes, stuff like that. Like 2K need to fix that, cause uh, that's gonna be a problem when the years come. When I, when it's about to be a game winner, and it's, I'm going up against the team of slashers, and they hit a three in, in my face. Not to mention, yes, when they hit a three in my face, which has happened before, and it goes in. 2K fix your game. All I'm saying is that a lot of this, uh, a lot of the, there are a lot of things that need to be fixed. This is what like a wish list for me and what I want to see in patch 4 and I, I don't know if I went over everything or not but if I didn't don't forget to leave a comment in the description let us know what we what needs to be done what needs to be said and everything because I'll definitely make another video if it need be <clears throat> all right now this is the one time I'm gonna ask for it. if you could like when I say like I really mean like this video I need you to like this video and if you want you can subscribe or comment or whichever one you want but we I need to get this video to Ronnie he needs to see all the stuff that's wrong with this video and if a lot of people want to step up and do it I will gladly do it I will gladly post a video that gets shared everywhere so that everybody can everybody in 2k facility or 2k uh, community everybody they need they need to know what needs to be fixed now uh, I'm gonna catch you guys later I'll see you guys when I see you guys peace